Hey guys, it's been a while. I hope everybody is well with the whole COVID-19. And it's been crazy around here. It's been a long time since I've done a video with work uh, due to COVID-19. And I wanna try to get back into it. And um, one of the questions I get asked a ton is whatever happened with this makeshift replacement dead cat for the Rode um, Video Micro. And I never really kind of pursued it anymore, but I really should. And I've gotten a lot of questions about what I've tried um, to try to make it a little better. If you watch my other video, you'll know that this OEM, the one that comes with it, the DidCat, it performs very, very well. The problem is it's so damn huge. Um, you know, you put this on your camera. Let me grab my, I'm still rocking the Fuji X-T2. If you guys know, I was looking at the X-T4. I didn't, didn't actually buy one. Um, so as you can tell, it's just enormous. Um, just too crazy, too large. Um, if you're on a windy cruise ship or something, you know, it works, but the form factor really sucks. So I'm looking for something I can replace it with. I tried this little foamy and the form factor works great. You know, I'm going to show it, you know, it fits very snug, so it fits very well. I bought this on Amazon. I can try to find the links. I don't have any affiliates, but as you can see, this would work great if it actually um, did a good job on reducing wind noise, which it does better than nothing, but it's not great. Um, if you're on a cruise ship, and I always relate to a cruise ship. We used to take a lot of cruise ships before the, the whole coronavirus uh, craziness, but um, even outdoors at the beach, this isn't probably going to perform up to your expectations. So I'm going to try a couple things. Um, I have some ideas, as you guys may know if you have one of these. The way this Rode Micro works, there is, uh, there's not much to it uh, when you open it, but there's a, a set of screens in here. And the screens are supposed to help, you know, deflect the, the wind. And I probably just screwed that up. There's not much to these microphones, right? If you take them apart, there's really uh, a little microphone in there and the rest is just some screening, uh, very fine screening. And on its own, you know, it's something, but it's not enough for any kind of windy condition. So let's see if we can't, you know, build a better mousetrap. Um, I don't know if I'll be successful because maybe Rode has already tried all these different things. So. But what the heck, I got time and uh, maybe you guys will come along for the ride. So let's, let's give it a shot. So what I'm gonna do today is try to make a sleeve, a material sleeve. And the donor is gonna be a Crown Royal. I don't have any Crown Royal, this is Crown Royal Apple. And, and I don't know, I just grabbed this because the material, um, feeling it, it's got like a very tight weave. I think that may be important. I don't know. I might try a couple different things, you know, scrap t-shirts and whatnot. Um, but first I'm gonna start with this just because I got a ton of them in the drawer and I never really had a use for them. It's one of those things, if you guys drink Crown Royal, which I don't drink much Crown Royal anymore. Um, I do have a drink today, uh, guys, if you wanna have a drink. Uh, this is a Woodward Reserve. I'm into bourbon these days. And this is a, um, a wheat whiskey a wheat bourbon and you know what a wheat bourbon is it's basically has more wheat in the in the they call it the mash bill but the recipe or the ingredients this stuff is like butter if you guys haven't tried it it's uh you know like 40 bucks it's kind of a little bit on the pricey side but it's definitely worth it again it's it's one of my favorites and i'm not a woodford reserve kind of fan so um and another thing, guys, I don't know if you guys are bourbon drinkers. I've tried and tried and tried. I can't pour without having some run down the bottle. It doesn't matter what the hell kind of bottle it is. I must be just a slob, but <laughs> here we go. So what I got is I have the sewing machine, and you could probably do this by hand. I'm sure you can do it by hand. It's just a little bit more uh, easier. I'm not a expert sewer. I buy this, I bought this thing at, at Sam's Club, or I'm sorry, Costco a while back, just to hem some pants and some emergency um, uh, changes to clothes, mostly my son's clothes. 
But that said, um, it's already way saved its money. Um, just in hemming a few pants and, and a few things last minute. Um, I had it out because I was fixing something for a patio chair. Again, if you guys don't have a sewing machine, um, they do come in handy. And I figured since I had it out, why not give this a shot? So again, this isn't rocket science. I'm going to take this, this uh, uh, Crown Royal um, and I'm, I'm just going to cut it and kind of try to guess. Uh, again, I'm not a seamstress by any measure. And I'm going to try to guess where I'm going to cut and then, um, you know, sew a little bib or a little sleeve and then put the foam around it. And we'll do some tests to see how it, see how it goes. So that said, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera up. So get rid of this for now. And as far as audio right now, as far as how you can hear me, I have my... Road, what is it that little wireless again? I'm kind of disconnected from the camera stuff in a while. What is the wireless go? Um, I did get a replacement from Rode and I've used it like once only and it seems to be working uh, We'll see if it if it continues to hold up. So I'm just gonna get a I'm gonna pop this out here And I'm just gonna get a um, a pen Again, I don't even know if this is going to work, so it may be kind of crude. i got a Sharpie here. I'm just going to adjust the camera just a little bit. I don't want to mistakenly move off a frame here for you guys, and I realize 15 minutes later that you can't see what the hell I did. So, again, this is the Crown Royal bag, and I don't want this material at the top because... It's a little thicker, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. If you guys never had the Crown Royal Peach, it's really good. I found it in Canada. I did a video on it, and um, with COVID-19, we haven't been able to go over to Canada again and, and pick it up. It's almost like impossible to find here in the U.S. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim it up a little bit more um, because I don't want all the bulk material. Again, I'm, I'm kind of a hack here as far as sewing goes. Um, one of the things to note is if you buy the Crown Royal, at least the peach in Canada, I found out, at least my experience, you don't get bags. I mean, it's no big deal. Um, again, I had a whole drawer full of these Crown Royal Apple bags and um, um, not really, uh, don't really have any use for it. So as you can see, I just need a little bit of material. What I'll probably do is do one of these numbers and that'll be about perfect. I'll fold it in half and all I'm going to do is mark this and I'm going to mark it um, a little bit past what the actual size is to give it a little um, uh, growth on, on the dimensional width and not too much because this material like most materials it'll stretch it doesn't seem like it'll stretch but if you actually measure like a half inch or whatever the diameter is it will be too big and uh, it'll just fall off again for this it doesn't really matter probably a little bit bigger is better just because uh, you know i want to make sure it fits rather than not so with well, that said i'm just going to go ahead and uh, do that and and then i'll go ahead and trim on the sides after i after I sew it and then rotate it inside out. You don't have to do none of this, but it looks a little bit better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my, my Sharpie here. And uh, again, I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it. I don't know if I'm gonna screw this up. I might have to do it again. As you can see, this isn't rocket science. Oh, fuck. It's Mike's, I love my desk. I got one of those, I don't know if you guys noticed it, is a, uh, it's a Jarvis raised desk, and I've been working from home with COVID-19, and I love this desk. I've had it for about a year now, and I, I just drew on it with a Sharpie. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda zip it up, and then I'll trim it afterwards. So I'm going to, it's already raised. Again, if you're looking for a sewing tutorial, this is not going to be it. And, and that's okay if it's a little bit big. 
All I have to do is run another bead of um, uh, thread alongside of it. If it's too small, then you're kind of screwed. Again, not huge because this project, I got lots of scrap. I can just sew another one. So let's go ahead through it. And um, I'm just going to run it a couple times, back it up. And what that does is lock your stitch. Again, I'm going to go back. And then I'm going to do the same thing. One more. Okay. And then I'm going to come up. And then this has got a little razor on it. It's not a bad little plasticky machine. It does way more than I can do, but um, it looks good as far as the, uh, the distance and the thread and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do this other side and then see if it fits. Again, if it's a little bit too big, I'll just run another bead on the side. bit crazy with it there and I'm gonna cut it and see how this is gonna fit in here no me I probably did it a little too small and yeah yep I did a little too small so what I did is I just zipped another one that was long enough and a little better as far as the width goes and I think that will will work so what I'm going to do is just trim off the sides cut this excess off as far as thread goes And if this actually works, you know, I can always go back and make one a little bit better, but and if it works, it works, right? So I'm just going to flip it inside out, which can be a challenge sometimes. And you don't have to flip it inside out, but it just makes a nicer little pocket. Sometimes it can be a pain to do so, just because it's small. I'm gonna shove my pen through it. I don't know what's the deal. I don't know if it's when I'm cutting it. This thing keeps on ripping out on me, but I'm gonna go with it, I think. Still good enough. Yeah, I'll go with that. So it's not perfect, but for this test, it'll be good enough. So this is the sock, and I'm hoping I can get this foam to go over it as well. So let's see. Foam stretches. I'm just trying not to rip it. <laughs> Like I just did. But if it works, right now the foam's pretty much no good to me anyway. I do have another one around here somewhere. If it works out, I can replace it. So let's give this a test, right? Um, I have a fan in here. I don't know if you can hear it, probably. Let's give it a shot. Okay, again, this is the Rode Wireless Go right now. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna turn this fan on and to see if it's cutting in and out. It's, it's a mild breeze because of the, the, the wind. I don't have, here, let me go ahead and switch over the audio, guys. Okay, can you hear me now? So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, Go into the fan, the wind. I'm going to turn the high. This is the fan on high. And of course, you're going to hear the fan. But are you going to, um, it's pointed at me right now, 
am I cutting in and out as far as that you know that annoying wind sound that's really what we want to know is is it isolating my voice or do you hear that wind sound coming through now I'm going to point the microphone at the fan and the fan is right over see it over there itself and this is pointed at my mouth for voice I don't know if you can hear it cutting in and out um, now I'm gonna switch over to the OEM dead cat is this monstrosity so again pointed out the I'm just holding it to where as you can see it's blowing around and the reason I have to hold it down is because that's where I can feel with my hand where the strongest wind is and now I'm gonna kind of put it to my voice like the other ones now it's moderate I feel a breeze but it's pointed at my mouth right now to see how it's doing as far as cutting in and out. Um, let's take a listen. So after listening to the audio, that green material insert really didn't make any difference on wind reduction, but it did decrease the audio quality over just the foam microphone, which kind of surprised me a little bit. Uh, neither one of them, both with the foam only or the insert, didn't even come close to the Rode Dead Cat, the one that ships with the Rode Micro. So hands down, Rode's got it going on. I haven't given up yet, guys. I'm still on the quest to find a smaller form factor. I'm gonna try a few more things out and I'm expecting to have more failures. Um, so if you're interested in following this, please stay tuned. Um, my next one, I have a couple small um, furry things that I may try to sew on top of this foam and the thought process is what I what I believe that's happening is you need that isolation space like if you look at the road one there is a um, some space within the dead cat and I think that really helps and maybe that foam can create that dead space so I'm gonna give it a shot but if I can make it you know half the size um, and still perform close I'm not even looking for the same performance i mean because look at this thing right it's huge so that's hard to compete with that kind of fur and material around it but if i can get close to that performance and about 50 percent of the size that would be a win for me so i'm going to continue to try this i have a couple ideas and uh, i'll post a couple more videos guys thanks for watching uh, talk to you soon bye